sur Astérix et Obélix comme d'habitude. Oh. Mais l'idée fixe, il voyage plus que toi. Oh. Attends, attends, ça, il est fixe. Are you in for a fun adventure? Look no further. A few days from now, Asterix and Obelix will journey to ancient China at the request of Princess Fu Yi, who has fled from a terrible prince and comes to Gaul seeking assistance. And yeah, Asterix and Obelix The Middle Kingdom, which premieres next month, will be their first movie not based on the pre-existing Asterix story. Will Asterix and Obelix be able to save the day? One thing's for sure, it's a film not to be missed. Keep watching for details of the anticipated movie that will get your expectations even higher. Of course, comics fans will be familiar with Asterix and Obelix's antics. Since 1961, we've been fascinated by the exploits of two of ancient Gaul's most valiant warriors, Asterix the Brave and Clever and Obelix the Ponderous and Loyal. They like nothing more than hunting wild boar and a brawl with whichever group of Roman soldiers happen to be sent to the wilds of Armorica. The story is simply great. Its creativity cannot be overemphasized. The comic book series even survived the deaths of its creators, Pene Goscinny and Albert Uderzo, and has been continued in recent years by other writers, with the 39th volume published last year. With almost 400 million books published and translations available in over 100 languages, it's no surprise that the film industry jumped at the chance to adapt Asterix for the big screen. However, unlike the comic stories, which has proven to be immortal and would probably outlive us all, their cinematic outings have been somewhat hit or miss. This stirred the out-of-the-box thinking that made the story of Asterix and Obelix the Middle Kingdom unique and didn't follow the regular tide. Here's a quick recap of the previous movies in the franchise. The early adaptations were simple animated versions of their famous books like Asterix and Cleopatra and Asterix in Britain. These films in the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s were box office hits, after a live action picture was then released in 1999. And next, there is Asterix and Obelix vs. Caesar, starring huge box office attractions like Gerard Depardieu as Obelix and Academy Award winner Roberto Benigni. It was a smash hit in France and opened the way for more sequels. However, the franchise appeared to be over after Asterix and Obelix God Save Britannia, which was released in 2013. It received quite a poor public acceptance. Oops, that was quite a big mess for a top-notch franchise like Asterix and Obelix. Not until the relaunch confirmed for the first day of next month, which we are all anticipating. So here's what we know about Asterix and Obelix The Middle Kingdom. Earlier this month, the final trailer for the highly anticipated film Asterix and Obelix The Middle Kingdom was dropped. So brace yourself, folks, and believe me when I say the movie is worth the wait. It's packed with all sorts of exciting details about what we can expect from our favorite indomitable Gauls. Speaking of adventure, action, and a dash of humor, the Gauls will be going on a fun and wild adventure to China to lend a hand to the lovely Princess Fu Yi, played by Julie Chen. Also, the trailer gives us a sneak peek of what's to come, and let me tell you, it looks like it's going to be a wild ride. The trailer hints at an action-packed martial arts display. From ancient Chinese battles to martial arts homages, Asterix and Obelix are sure to leave a lasting impression on the Middle Kingdom. The premise of the movie is simple, yet thrilling. The Emperor of China has been imprisoned after a coup led by the evil Deng Xin Quin. In order to save her father, the princess hires a Phoenician merchant to sail her to Gaul with the idea of getting help from the Gauls and druid Getafix, played by the one and only Pierre Richard, makes the Gauls invincible with his famous magic potion. You should know that there is usually lots of action in the typical Asterix comics, but it's just more of a signature type. Simply put, no Asterix story is complete without the necessary quota of dumb Roman legionnaires being banged around by Asterix and Obelix, generally in the forest that surrounds their town. But this time you should be prepared for an extra dose of action and excitement. The upcoming Asterix and Obelix movie promises to showcase wireworks, lightning-fast martial arts moves, and an abundance of homages to the martial arts genre. The trailer alone will leave you on the edge of your seat with scenes reminiscent of Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon, as our heroes witness an aerial ballet taking place aboard a ship. It also gives a little peek at an epic battle scene that will see the convergence of Chinese warriors, Romans, and Gauls. The adventure is far from over when Asterix and Obelix set foot in the Middle Kingdom, so it's expected to be a lot of fun. Also, Panacea makes an appearance. Every Asterix fan is aware that Asterix is a certified bachelor. Even his mother is unable to marry him off. 
Obelix, on the other hand, is a different story, as multiple female characters establish eye contact with him throughout the course of several volumes, and he at them. But Obelix's heart belongs to Panacea, a former resident of Asterix and Obelix's Gaulish town who appears in four of the books. Obelix's affections are doomed to be unfulfilled. Panacea is, after all, married. But their interaction creates a sympathetic dynamic, demonstrating that for all his joy in slamming Romans, Obelix has a tender side. It turns out that 24 years after her previous appearance in the franchise, the character will be appearing once again in the new movie, and this time the character will be performed by Angeli, a Belgian-language pop singer who has to her name a streak of top 10 songs in the French music charts. Angeli has been making waves in the French-language music industry since the late 2010s and is also no stranger to the world of film. She has lent her voice to the French versions of popular animated films like Toy Story 4 and Space Jam A New Legacy. Now she's stepping into the spotlight as Panacea in the new Asterix film, marking her second appearance in a live-action film. Fans of the franchise are wondering if Obelix will still be smitten by her and turn into a tongue-tied, blushing mess, just like in the known narrative. Obelix! <laughs> Julius Caesar is also on a mission, presumably to invade China. Yeah, you didn't hear that wrong. The Asterix comics are well known for their playful and imaginative take on history, with storylines that often stretch the boundaries of reality. From a boating trip gone wrong that leads to an unexpected trip to America, to encountering Normans centuries before they were actually historically present, and even a journey to India on a flying carpet. But the new film's depiction of Asterix and Obelix's trip to China takes the cake for its bold and imaginative retelling of history. It's sure to be an entertaining ride for the fans of the franchise. The premise revolves around Caesar, played by Vincent Castle, bringing together a powerful Roman army with the aim of conquering China in order to impress his Cleopatra. Castle's portrayal of the character deviates from the norm, and it's clear that he enjoys the opportunity to play such a fun and dynamic role. However, it's unclear how simple this will be. Caesar unsheaths his sword only to discover it is less than a foot long at one point in the trailer. Last time you cut yourself, says a subordinate in sorry tones. This says a lot about Caesar. Whatever the outcome, one thing is for sure. The new movie looks visually stunning with a reported budget of around 65 million euros. With such a big investment, audiences can expect a feast for their eyes. And if the story is as exciting as the trailer promises, it will definitely be worth the wait for fans of these comic book characters. There you have it, a nice adventure to anticipate. Before you leave, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and get more trendy and fun movie updates from us. Also, remember to turn on your notification. We've come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Assurez-moi, vous savez où c'est la Chine quand même? Ouais. Même moi, je sais où c'est.